This is Talk It Out Tuesday, part two about our relationship with food. The number one thing that came to mind that keeps on, like I just have to say it, is that we have to remember how we felt when we were eating, the way that we were eating, when we weren't in that right place. You know what I'm saying? As far as eating stressed out, binge eating, that feeling in the aftermath, whether it's a tummy ache, a headache, or just feeling like crap. Remember that feeling. Throughout God's Word, He always says, remember, remember, remember. And as I was preparing for this today, He was like, remember. You know what I'm saying? Like remembering that feeling and saying, I don't want that to repeat again. That's what has helped me so much. I mean, I told, I don't know if I told you guys before, but I had a thing for gummies. Like I really enjoy gummies. And even now, like I won't buy gummies for my household because I'm like, I don't want to have it. But now it's gotten a lot better. I'll have it once in a while for our kids. But it was really like off the chain for a while for some years my husband would be like you know you have candy here for one second and then it's like gone and i remember how bad i felt like i would get headaches or my stomach hurt or you know teeth issues i mean you name it all those different things were happening so i remembered that and that's what helped me and then on top of that what i started to do was i started to pray over myself and commune with god with those things i said god you say that man does not live on bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth so it's like i start saying his word over myself and speaking life over myself and said you know what that's what i'm going to do because if i don't want this and you live inside of me this has to be able to happen, you know what I'm saying? And he also helped me change my vocabulary. So I started focusing on terms, not saying bad or good, but saying, you know what, I, I like to eat healthy, clean eating, I'm flexible with my, you know, all those different things, other things I have written down, eating life-giving foods, um, having food as fuel. Say that with me, having food as fuel. That's a very good way to see it rather than seeing it like, oh, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as an escape, you don't want to have it that way and enjoyable you know going to a wedding going to a different ceremony going to a birthday dinner i had celebrated one of my good friends birthdays this past weekend and you know i had we had cheesecake and i was like at first i was like no i'm not gonna have it i'm like no we're celebrating her birthday i'm gonna enjoy that cheesecake and it was good and um and it was enjoyable so seeing food the right way and not having it so rigid and being so you know like oh it has to be that way because honestly doing that is very very tiring you know i've talked to a couple of friends of mine and family members and we talked about women and our relationship with food and how you know we can't have it that way how it should not be where we're looking at food and seeing it as a bad or good thing treating ourselves like an animal like a dog like i said a couple of weeks ago it's meant to be enjoyed it's meant to be something that you do in fellowship with one another it's meant to be something that you say you know what this is life-giving foods the food that i'm putting inside my body the greens the healthy meats all those different things these are fuel for my body in order for me to fulfill what needs to be done in order for me to have to, I'm, I'm eating life and therefore I'm able to live life fulfilling life as I should that's a healthy way to see it rather than the way that we've done it before we don't want to do it that way you know what I'm saying so I know that's like a a lot within a short period but just changing our mindset about it is so important. That's why I haven't even gone into what I've done personally because I think the mindset is so important when it comes to seeing it the right way. I can give you any kind of formula, whether it be keto, intermittent fasting, paleo, you name it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, do this, eat six times a day. And I can give you any formula that it's going that works and it can be horrible just because the mindset behind the formula is not where it should be. So our mindset and how we see it is so important. And again, friends, speak life over yourself. He says, life is in the power of the tongue. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So you can be speaking life over yourself or you can be speaking death over yourself. So make sure that you're speaking life over yourself and do not beat yourself up if you have done those things I've said before. I, everything I told you before, I've done it myself. I've binge eat. I fasted and said, I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to do that. I've done all those things and then some, and I've learned from all of it. And I'm like, you know what? That is just not the way to live. That is not living at all. And I should not give something called food that much power over my life. You know what I'm saying? We just shouldn't. Um, we have authority over that and so many different things over our lives. So why not see it the right way and say, you know what? I'm going to see this the right way. I'm going to enjoy it the right way and, and live fulfilling life the way that we should all right i hope that this encourages you and this helps you speak life i can't say enough speak life over yourself and speak life over other people have an awesome tuesday and i will see you next tuesday and i will see you for work it out wednesday for tomorrow you have a great workout all right mm, love you guys bye